What's going on YouTube? This is Jose over at Spidey Spider Tumblr's coming back at you with another mail call video. So today's mail call video, we have a Pacer Adventure Challenge. This is going to be part of the solar system. These here are a one day, one shot type thing that you try to get your goal out. This was supposed to be a little jog. So I think it was like 3.2 miles on a jog. So that was a quick one day type thing. We have a box here from Short Boxed. And I believe we have a uh, mail from eBay. So let's go ahead and open up the Pacer Adventure Challenge. So like on my other videos, Pacer Adventure Challenge is a good way for you to keep tabs on your steps, your mileage, your uh, weight loss program type thing that if you wanna keep track of how you're losing weight, this is a good way to do it. So the inside of the card is find us on Facebook, Pacer Adventure Challenge, and I know they're on Instagram as well, but here is the inside of the box. This is gonna be the first solar system one I did. Uh, so this is actually a nice looking metal. And all these Pacer Adventure Challenge medals are actually metal. But what I'm digging about this one here is if you notice, so we have the planet Earth. This was a 5km. I believe this was the... Uh, so yeah, that's all it says is 5km. But I think it was like 3 point something miles. So you, you would figure like the... Uh, so, but what I like about this is I was trying to figure out the mileage and uh, like a 5k run is what I wanted to say. But you see the little thing spins on there. So that's pretty neat. And you have like the little solar system type thing in the back. But like all the other metals let's go ahead and let's slide this over and show that off again on these videos i've been standing up now so it's a little bit harder to show that but what i could do is probably do this and then do this either which way that was still hard to show too but let's go ahead and go back to my ugly mug so let's go ahead and move that there we go again real real metal Nice, nice little challenges or uh, medals there. So if you guys are interested, Pacer Adventure Challenges. If you guys are looking for a way to track your mileage. Now keep in mind, you don't have to purchase the medals. You can do the challenges and that will just give you the challenge. Uh, I'm not sure if they give you guys a finisher or the certificate for that. I would believe they do. But when you purchase the medals, they actually send the medals out. It's in good faith that you're going to complete your challenge. The only thing they don't give you is your certificate till the day of completion. So that's one way to kind of keep you honest. But again, like I said in my other videos, you're the only person you're cheating is yourself to say that you did that and then you didn't. So Pacer Adventure Challenge is a good way to keep track of your goals. You can kind of set goals for yourself and then keep them uh, keep a track for that. So let's go ahead and go with a short box purchase. I know you guys have seen me opening the short box like crazy. Uh, I've been trying to find a lot of like different random stuff on there, but they make it so easy and so cheap on some of the stuff. You can haggle with some of the sellers. And so it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, how can I say it? I don't want to say worry-free because you always worry when you purchase something, but hassle-free, I guess, maybe. And I know that they, if anything does happen, you can reach out to Shortbox and they will do everything they can to make it right. The reason I'm being so careful is because there's peanuts. And I just dropped one on the floor. So Shortbox will actually do whatever they can to, to fix the problem. I know I had a little bit of issues with the way the payments and all that stuff worked out in the beginning. All that kind of got settled in. And I think they're doing a great job with uh, the way they do things. There used to be waiting periods. Well, there is a waiting period for you to get money. There's a waiting period for a lot of stuff. But the problem was there was a waiting period before. You had to do the 24-hour notice. They kind of did away with that. They pretty much now, unless it's a certain value, they will pretty much just automatically, if you purchase something, they take it from your account right then and there. They used to reach out to the seller to make sure they still had the book. Then you had to wait for the seller to get a hold of them, to let them know, yes, I still have the book. So it, it was a, a big problem at first, but they have been getting a little bit better. So here we go. I know... I would have never thought that I would be opening up so many DC slabs, but here we are. Yet another DC book, Brave and the Bold, back from 1965. We have the origin of Black Canary and Starman in text. 
And we have the first Silver Age appearance of the Mist. So again, I've been going for first appearances. We'll do that as a screenshot there. I'm hoping that looks good. If it doesn't, oh well. But I've been doing a lot of like the first appearances now. So we got a Brave and the Bold, number 61. Just now that I'm standing up, the glare comes in a little bit more, but there we go. So that was the purchase I got from Shortbox. So let's go ahead and move on to, I believe it's gonna be an eBay purchase. A lot of times when they don't say Shortbox or whoever else, like these third parties, I go straight to saying it's, it's eBay because if it's somebody on Instagram, you will know the name when it comes to you. So this is not an Instagram purchase. So again, we got a slab kind of free floating in there, so that's okay. It looks like it might have been protected. It did put a few wraps of bubble wrap on this. Okay, so I think this one's been sitting here a while. I'm catching up to a lot of my packages now. So this here, thanks to good old Roger Levesque over at Three Men in the Basement, has now given me this little itch I got for these 300 homage covers. I kind of did tell myself I was going to start just buying. I'm trying to remove this little price tag that was on there. I did kind of tell myself that I was going to start buying like the signature ones. But this one here was fairly cheap. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is Ant-Man number five. This is the Phantom variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man 300 cover homage. So there you have a Ant-Man number five, I said. Yep, number five. With the Amazing Spider-Man homage, I really do like the way that cover looks. So I picked it up for a very good price and a 9.8. So I will keep continuing on with these 300s. I'm really enjoying the way they look. I'm not going to go and pay crazy dollar, uh, dollar amounts for these things. I'm going to try to stick to a lot of the signature ones. I believe those for me are a little more my uh, alley, up my alley. But if I do find one for a fairly good price, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. It's not, it's not anything else. It's not hurting me in any other way but to pick this up. And you never know future giveaways. I'm always looking for that book to give away to the community. But that's going to actually do it for this unboxing video. If you guys can all do me a favor, I'm going to try to grab the other slab real quick. So I like to do a little recap. So if you guys can all do me a favor, just please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about these purchases from eBay and Shortbox. What you think about this uh, first Silver Age appearance of the Mist in a Brave and a Bold number 61. Or Ant-Man number 5, the 300 ASM 300 homage covers. Or again, if you guys are looking into getting fit for the new year, what do you guys think about these Pacer Adventure Challenges? There is the Earth. Like I said, this is the first solar system one I did. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do because these are like the one step challenges where you have to go in and do them within a day. A lot of and, and they're all jogging. So you have to kind of jog. You don't really have to do the whole thing. I, I know I'd stopped and walked and jogged, walked and jogged. But some of them, the smaller ones, because I know there's like a mile and a half. You would at least try to push yourself for that. So I think I might do a mile and a half next. Push that one. I know I've almost done three miles nonstop. But again, bad heart. Uh, it's a little hard for me to kind of keep going. Not that my body aches, but my chest will start pounding the hell out of me and tell me to kind of slow down. So those are my own physical goals that I need to work with. So that's why I'm kind of trying to get a little bit healthier for the new year. I've done this before, but I skyrocketed its weight again as soon as I stopped. So I got to kind of find a way to keep going. Hopefully this helps me out and motivates me to keep moving on. But here's to 2022, guys. Hope we see a lot of uh, giveaways coming real quick, you know, just moving them in and out, in and out. And I don't know if I did all this other stuff, but if you guys can do me another favor, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And please hit that little notification bell so that you guys can get notified with any video that I'll be dropping soon. But as always, everybody, thank you for, for viewing these videos. Oh, giveaway alerts down at the bottom. You will see a bunch of video descriptions. In the video description, you will see a bunch of videos that you can go and click on and then do a hashtag such and such, and you will be entered to win a prize for that time. Again, that's plain and simple. I'm not asking for anything else, but thank you guys for joining me. Again, like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys on the next one.